Hey everyone, here's a look at the Kinetic Type Animated Text Pack. Instantly add pro-level animated titles to elevate the energy of your videos with Kinetic Typography. These simple to use motion graphic templates or Mogurt files for Premiere Pro and After Effects project file are the perfect artistic touch to quickly add dynamic kinetic text to your videos like an industry pro. The motion graphic templates allow you to fully customize the font, color, size, kerning, timing, stroke width, and positioning in seconds. Shockingly simple, these Mogurts empower you to create the popular kinetic typography animations you see in commercials, web, and social without the time suck. I'm going to first walk you through how easy it is to use these in Premiere Pro, and then I'm going to open up the After Effects project file for those working in Final Cut, DaVinci Resolve, Vegas, or any other video editing software. Let's drop in. As always, if you're new here, consider subscribing to join the community, leave a like, it helps us out big time with the YouTube algorithm, and comment below what you would like to see next. Let's get started. When you download and unzip the Kinetic Type Pack, it's going to come with two folders. You're going to get the After Effects project file, and then you're going to get all 30 motion graphic templates in the Mogurt folder. Right here and your After Effects project file is right here. We'll get into that in just a second. For the first part, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to install these motion graphic templates in Premiere Pro and then edit them. So let's dive into Premiere Pro. I have my timeline here with just background gradient clip. You wanna open up your Essential Graphics window. So you click Window, Essential Graphics and then you will have all your motion graphic templates visible right here on the side. And to import them, we have them imported already, but to import them, you can simply click this plus sign right here, and then you can navigate to whatever motion graphic template you want and import them. This only allows you to do it one by one. If you wanna do it all at once, you can simply in the finder, and you can simply highlight all of them here, and click them, drag them into your window there. So once you have them imported, so these are super easy and intuitive to use, you can just simply click and drag the title that you would like to use into your timeline. Click on it, and then you have all your editing parameters right here in the Essentials Graphics panel, and you can simply type in Pro Level Titles if you want. That will automatically register and if the text is a little bit too large then you can simply scale it down and it will automatically correct. From here you can customize your font that you would like. So let's try something different, Helvetica New. Let's change our text to just make it all red. And then you can change your stroke width and your kerning as well. So you can lighten that up a bit if you would like, or you can make it more pronounced and poppy. And then you can change the kerning as well. Once you kind of have it dialed, you can also have the controls in your effects control panel as well. Just your, your classic positioning and scale, you can scale it down if you would like to make it just a bit easier to clean up and get into the spot that you would like. And that's it. That's how simple it is to customize these motion graphic titles in Premiere Pro. Let's go ahead and open up the After Effects project file. Now, if you're using Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Vegas, or any other editing suite of choice, you can use the After Effects project template that we've provided for you in the download. You simply open it up. It's all of the same exact parameters that we just show you in Premiere Pro that are live in After Effects. So you will have your essential graphics window open on the right side, along with every title. The kind of cardinal rule for the After Effects project file when you edit it is to not only have it opened in your timeline, but also make sure that here in your primary drop down button, you also have the corresponding title pulled up. 
and this will allow you to edit that. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's do this one, volume 11. Go in here, we're going to change this to pro level titles. Once again, the text is a little long. Just size it down a bit. Size it down a bit, change the color if you would like. Let's make these all red. You can change the stroke width. Let's make the stroke just a little bit more pronounced on this one. And you can change your kerning as well. Widen that out just a bit. And then when you want to export these to your video editing software, you simply want to click the toggle transparency grid right here. And then that will make sure that the alpha gets rendered through. And then you go to your file and export, add to render queue, click on your best settings, your render settings, you're in a 4K sequence, go ahead and click OK. Click on your output module, there's no need for audio so you can turn off your audio output. And then in your video output, RGB plus alpha. That's, that's critical. And then click your format options. And this is also a critical note is Apple ProRes 4444. That will make sure that the alpha is rendered with your title. Go ahead and then click your output to and just name. You can keep the title the exact same thing and you can set your output folder. We'll send it to the desktop just for this example. And then you click render. So have fun with this. We highly recommend checking out Prisma, Prism Effects and Abstract Lens Effects Template, the ultimate Prism Effects toolkit for unique kaleidoscope and diopter effects with drag and drop ease. It's like having over 30 plus lens filters in your camera bag for the price of one. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you're new here, consider subscribing to join the community. Leave a like, it helps us out big time with the YouTube algorithm and comment below what you would like to see next and we'll catch you in the next one.